Rocket League has hit 30 million registered players. They have sold over a million physical copies of the game. I didn't even know a physical copy existed. Of course it does. But it does, and they've sold a million of them. And it's coming to China, but not on Steam. And is not going to cost you anything. It is coming to China through what is looming on the horizon as Steam's huge competitor, which is Tencent. And they are going to offer it as a free-to-play game. Um, I have no idea what to think about any of that. Uh, I don't understand the Chinese gaming market. I know they like to play games. I know that there are I know there was tons a, of people playing over there. There was a wild free-to-play version of Call of Duty online uh, over there for a while. and uh, Yeah. Uh, so that's not unheard of. And that being a separate game, I, I guess I missed... I, I saw that they're part, partnered with Tencent, but didn't for some reason didn't equate it to that announcement last week that they're going global with their their digital storefront. And uh, yeah, uh, so it makes, it'll be really interesting. For them, yeah, I mean it, it's I mean it's great for for Psionics. It's I feel like it's a good it's a good shot across the bow at Steam mm. that they're going to start poaching some games that they can release exclusively on their platform, and it seems like Tencent is big enough that they've got money that they can throw at some of these developers and some of these publishers to get exclusivity deals. Um, so we could see a whole new war of steam versus Tencent, which is going to, I think it's going to be called we play. Is that right? I think we game, we game. Yeah. Um, I mean, we, we could be entering, uh, an area of PC gaming that we have not seen. Cause I, th- I think I- ever, Without me knowing actually anything about business in China, from the outside, it looks like it's harder to get in there than it is uh, to continue to do what you're doing in the in the Western markets. Um, yeah. But for Tencent coming coming out of China, it's they almost have an advantage. Like they've got China figured out, and yeah. now the blueprint to succeed elsewhere in the world already exists. So right. they have. Uh, they have less obstacles in their way than than Valve does going the other direction. It seems like. Well, and I remember seeing their user numbers and was just blown away. Okay. Like I had no idea. Like they're huge, mm-hmm. but because they're specifically in China, we don't talk about. You know, it's not even on our radar. We don't even think about it. So, um, it 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 both will be interesting to see how um, an Eastern company coming into the Western gaming market handles those waters because sometimes stuff gets weird. Um, we talked about the whole Persona Five thing and and how weird that got on on us as Westerners. Um, so that will be interesting. But the other thing will be interesting is see what Valve looks like under some pressure because honestly, yeah. they've just been able to coast lately. And up until recently, they hadn't really had to do much of anything, and now they're finally trying to solve discoverability and also. Um, slow down the the absolute flood of games that is pouring onto the platform at the moment yeah, but that's it, their biggest problem to solve too many too many games <laughs> too many, too many. Um, but yeah it'll be interesting to see what what they do in reaction to uh, a big competitor 